My mama told me, watch your back, them hoes just want you for them racks And they ain't really your friend I never forget who I was Ooh, I, I, I can't find them now no f way, no f way, no f no f way, no f way. News today, one man is dead, another's in critical condition after this wild shooting at a gas station in southeast Houston. Yeah, this happened on Wayside Drive, just a block off the Gulf Freeway. KPRC 2's Rochelle Turner is live at the scene with more. Rochelle. Yeah, good morning. And what makes this so concerning is when this shooting happened. It happened around 7 o'clock last night when most people were getting off from work, maybe stopping here to fill up with some gas when all of this took place. Now, police are calling this a targeted shooting, and I want to show you some of the damage. You can see those boarded up windows and doors from when the suspects fired multiple rounds. And police tell us that they are piecing together exactly what happened using camera surveillance and I want to show you what the scene looked like last night around 716 police say four suspects in two separate vehicles a gray Dodge Charger and a silver Mercedes sedan pulled up to the gas station and fired long guns at two people who were exiting the gas station convenience store and returned to their Cadillac Escalade Four people were inside that Escalade, but two of them got out and ran back inside of the store when those shots rang out. Take a listen. One of them was shot immediately, multiple times. The other male, Hispanic male, ran to the back, uh, back room inside the convenience store. He was armed with a pistol inside that back room. And it's unclear if that man who had the pistol fired at those suspects. We know that he was taken to the hospital. Another man uh, died, unfortunately, here at the scene. Now, police say that the suspects were wearing white pants and a white top, except for one who had on black pants. Now, police are searching for the suspects who believe to have uh, fled the scene on Telephone Road. They are urging anyone, if they saw something, to give Crime Stoppers a call. Reporting live in Northeast Houston, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC C2 News. Welcome to Straddled Events. On this channel, we bring you the truth. Sometimes the truth is quite ugly, unbearable, and you just don't want to deal with it. But on this channel, you're going to get it anyway. You are straddled the fence of good versus evil, right versus wrong. And on this channel, we're going to tell you to do better. Please like, dislike, subscribe, and share the videos. Now let's go. Uh, searching for the men believed to be behind a targeted attack at a gas station in southeast Houston. One man was killed, another in critical condition, and the hunt is on for at least four people. Shelby Rose is live outside HPD headquarters with what police have been able to gather so far. Shelby, good morning. Good morning. As HPD says that this shooting was a dispute between two groups of Hispanic men, four suspects allegedly targeting the four victims. It all happened at a gas station on South Wayside near Telephone Road around 715 yesterday evening. We're told the four victims drove up in a black Cadillac Escalade, went inside to do some shopping, and not long after they got back to the car, two more vehicles pulled up. Now, these are the suspect cars, a gray Dodge Charger and a gray Mercedes. HPD says four suspects, all armed with long guns, got out of their cars and immediately began shooting, riddling that Cadillac with bullets. Two victims ran inside the store, one shot multiple times, who was pronounced dead at Bentop Hospital. The other currently listed in critical condition. The two others that were with them were unharmed shortly after the suspects fled. Now, in terms of description, we don't have much to go off. Three of the four men were wearing white t-shirts with white pants and the fourth was in a white t-shirt with black pants. They were last seen exiting the parking lot uh, going down Telephone Road uh, and again uh, it's two separate vehicles so they're both silver. One's a Dodge Charger four-door and the other one is a uh, uh, Dodge, I'm sorry, a silver Mercedes and four-door and again it's two in each uh, vehicle right there.
Now, HPD says that there is surveillance footage of this shooting. The detectives are reviewing at this moment. But of course, if you do have any information on who may be responsible for this shooting, you are urged to call HPD as well as Crime Stoppers. That number is 713-222-TIPS. Reporting live outside HPD headquarters, Shelby Rose. This video is about the rapper that goes by the name of D-Baby. D-Baby is from Houston, Texas. I have some questions about what happened to D-Baby and his crew. Apparently D-Baby was at his studio in Houston, Texas, recording or doing whatever they do there. They decided to go to a local gas station to pick up some snacks. First question is, D-Baby, why are you at a gas station picking up snacks when you are a multi-millionaire? Number one. Number two, why are you still in the hood after you have made all of that money? You grab the bag, you have all that money, you have to elevate. You cannot keep millions of dollars in your bank account and remain in the hood because of jealousy envy is always somebody want what you got they don't want to work hard to get it they want to take it from you so they were trying to take you thirdly who was this old ass dude shooting at the baby and his crew what the fuck your old ass should be trying to teach the young men to do better and look at your old ass out here with a damn gun shoot at people at seven o'clock in the evening when people are getting off from work trying to get home to their family and their children to make dinner and put the kids to bed your old ass out here shooting at the baby and his crew so this just tells me that a they were targeted it was targeted because who knew that they were going to that gas station number one who knew that the baby would be in the vehicle does that mean that the baby and his crew was being followed once they touched down in Houston what does this mean now one is dead his homeboy is dead the baby is in critical condition we're gonna pray that he make it through this and once you make it through this the baby you need to move differently you can't move with everybody some people you're gonna have to leave behind some may be able to move with you but some you will have to leave behind and move on a different level once you get the bag like that, you you got millions of dollars. You need to elevate your way of living. You can't stay in the hood. Our prayers go out to all the families involved. I hope they catch all y'all ass for being stupid. That's what you call a stupid ass move, especially the old dude. Your ass gonna rot in jail. You already oh damn. Do better with your crazy ass. And y'all little young dudes looking up to some idiot. Now your life is all jacked up because you're going to get caught and you're going to jail if they don't kill you first. That's how the rap game goes. You're either you're going to make it. Once you make it, somebody jealous, envious of what you got, want what you got, don't want to be them, got to be somebody else. And be careful of your friends, your, your circle of friends, because some of these friends are just as worse than a stranger. Fine tune your circle at all times. Everything needs adjusting. Sometimes you have to adjust your circle. Everybody that say they love you and got your back and want the best for you, they ask be lying. They don't want the best for you. They as envious and jealous. They want what you have. Or don't, just don't want you to have it. Because they don't have it. Get y'all shit together out there in the world. I haven't been doing the videos because of this shit right here. It's too much of it. It's depressing. 
It makes me negative. It cracks my spirit. It makes me sad. I'm asking to do better with my videos, to thicken my skin so I can continue to report this kind of stuff. But it is very much so discouraging with all of this nonsense going on in the world. Live your life. What's wrong with just living? Why you got to have what somebody else have? Why you got to have a big house? Why you got to have somebody else's name on your ass? Why? Why you just can't be happy, live a simple life, and enjoy your family and your friends that really love you? And some of your family, you got to get rid of their ass too. Because some of them are just as worse as a stranger that's hunting you down. Do better with y'all self out there. Live. Don't you want to just live? Don't you want to live long? Be happy, smile, laugh, dance, play. What? What else do you want? You can get all the material shit in the world. You're still not going to be happy. You can travel every country on the globe. After you do all the travel, you go all the places. You wear everybody's name on your ass. You live in the big houses. You drive the best vehicles. You have all the jewelry that you want. You will still not be happy after that. Because material shit only lasts for a moment. That is the reason why you wear a shirt, you wear a pair of jeans, you wear a watch and you get bored with it. You want something different. You will always want something different because it cannot make you happy. Happiness is having whatever you have and sharing it with your family, your friends, being there to help somebody. Quit being selfish. I'm out by crazy asses. I'm sorry, before I go, I'm going to show you what will bring the baby happiness. Here it goes. Live for your child. Now I am out. Bye.